So I'm Penny Tettigrew. I work for NASA at the Marshall Space Flight Center here in Huntsville, Alabama. I am an International Space Station Payload Communications Manager, or PACOM, which really means that I get to talk to the astronauts who live and work on the space station and help them do their science experiments. Today we are at the Space and Rocket Center, home of Space Camp, which is really where it started off for me. You know, I grew up wanting to be an astronaut like a lot of kids. I grew up in the, the days of the shuttle, so watching the space shuttles launch. And when Sally Ride launched, you know, she was the first U.S. female to launch into space. I saw somebody who looked like me going into space, which you know, showed me that it was open to anybody. And that had been my dream for the longest time. When I was a teenager, this movie came out it's called Space Camp. And of course, I wanted to go see it. And at first, you're watching the movie. I thought it was just a movie. I didn't realize it was a real place. At the very end of the movie, it said, filmed on location at Space Camp in Huntsville, Alabama. I said, Mom, I want to go there. Now, it took a while because I was at the time, I was in San Diego. Uh, we were a Navy family, so we moved a lot growing up. So it took a while for tuition, travel money. So by the time I actually got to Space Camp, I was actually a freshman in college. So it was only a weekend program because I was older than the Space Camp kids. But coming here, I learned not just about the astronauts, I learned about all the other people at NASA that support the astronauts and help them do their job. You see the astronauts on TV, you don't always see everybody else that makes their job possible. And that opened my eyes to, there could be a career at NASA even if it wasn't an astronaut. And that, that experience really set me on the path that got me where I am today. So this is, this represents the Melfi, or minus 80 degree freezer. This is where a lot of the astronauts' science samples are stored until they can come home on one of the visiting vehicles. Penny is an outstanding example of a young Choctaw woman. She grew up in part of a Navy family, which means that she moved very frequently due to different duty stations. She is extremely responsible to her Choctaw heritage. She uh, lets everybody know she's a Native American and that she's Choctaw, and she's very proud of that. She has excelled and was a member of the very first Space Camp Hall of Fame inductees, and I'm extremely proud of that. Uh, she works every day talking to live astronauts on the space station, helping them solve their experiments, helping them with individual things, uh, talking to them sometimes on her cell phone and giving him the latest scores to the football games when they don't get that game on station. There were several growing up. I, first and foremost, my mom. I, I learned how to be a mother from growing up with her. When I was an undergrad in Colorado, every spring in Colorado, there's a space symposium in Colorado Springs. So she said, let's go. You never know who you're gonna meet. So in walking around, there's astronauts there. Wally Shira was one of the first seven astronauts ever selected by NASA back in the 60s. She just walked up to Wally Shira and said, Captain Shira, I'd like you to introduce my daughter. She wants to be an astronaut. I mean, I never in a million years would have walked up to Wally Shira and just introduced myself. My mom just set that example and was gonna give me every opportunity. I mean, it's just little things like that that helped her to show me that there are no boundaries. You follow your dreams, you make your own opportunities sometimes, and it's amazing what can happen. To be honest, it was the stories of perseverance. No matter what obstacles were put in the way of Native Americans in this country, they continued to move forward. You know, personally, I've used that as inspiration because especially as a female in the science field, I've had a lot of obstacles put in my way all along my path. I just don't don't give up, just like our ancestors. You know, if somebody puts a roadblock in front of you, you go around it, you go over it, you go under it, you go through it. But you don't let somebody else's naive ideas stop you. You continue to follow your dreams and make the world a better place. And that's what I try to do. As I mentioned earlier, Sally Ride was, was my first uh, inspiration in NASA and being an astronaut. Just seeing her succeed as, as a female in science and in space showed me that I could do it too. And there was no reason for me to stop 
working towards the stream. And then as more women were selected as astronaut and have flown in space, it just helped concrete that it's, it's not just a one woman game, it's an all woman game. And that um, it was worth pursuing the dream. What's cool being here in Huntsville at the Space and Rocket Center is so many female astronauts are from this area. So they come and they visit and they talk to young ladies and inspire them the same way these same women inspired me. Well, I try to inspire all of the next generation of explorers and scientists, but I understand that the Native American youth may have a few more obstacles than um, everybody else. And I just, I want all young children, young adults to understand that you really can be anything you want to be as long as you follow your dreams, you work hard, and don't let anybody tell you no.